Hey guys, it's Renee. So for this, from KZIY, I printed this template of an egg. I have the image for this one. If you want to go for this, feel free to print it. And the link of this is going to be down below. I'm going to be cutting this. And for like what's coming, if you have an egg shape or just a noble punch, feel free to work with that one. It's going to be making your life a lot easier for this. I didn't have it and I figured most people probably don't have it. So I'm just going to be showing you how to do this. I'm going to be tracing the shape onto some cardboard and then just cutting this. Then I'm going to be using some foamy paper, white one, and I'm going to be doing that again tracing the shape in my case i did the 15 of this and then just cut it and actually cutting them by hand wasn't a big deal it was pretty easy to do the only thing though is that they won't look exactly the same but that's okay I'm going to be using this clear phone case. This one I really like because it actually protects my phone because it's hard. I'm going to link it below if I can find it. Painting this with watercolor paint, feel free to use a white one to begin with or white spray paint. I just prefer to paint this by hand, it relaxes me. Giving this to the three coats and then I'm going to be using purple rain. Key West, Carousel Pink, Bright Orange and Bright Yellow acrylic paints. I'm going to be using this brush too. I made this myself. I do have the DIY for this one. It's actually really easy. Using I get my white acrylic paint to just make all of this pastel colors by just mixing them with white, obviously, but adding more white and just a few drops of like each color and go from there painting all of them with my brush obviously and this adding tool that i do have the diy on is actually really handy you can use this as a dating tool as like a handy all around tool a subscribe tool if you decorate cookies but yeah i sectioned them in like six different colors and then just painted that line in that color and here's where it starts the fun i'm going to be making 15 so just grab a snack and let's go for this one i'm going to be using this big brush it was an equal tools for like eyeshadow using the back of this as a big dotting tool adding huge dots of each color and cleaning my tool in between colors for this one it's going to be pretty much the same but just using this smaller dotting tool i do have the diy for this one by the way it's actually really easy to make it's just a toothpick but it's more to it than that then this one i'm going to be making some like zigzag emotions with my teal then adding some dots in between the zigzags doing the same thing for the edges and adding smaller dots on the edges as well for this too i'm doing the exact same thing but opposite i'm using my teal and my lilac um, eggs and just decorating them with the opposite like bigger dots for this yellow one i'm placing like teal stripes across it then once my stripes are dry i'm going to be adding a bunch of like dots um, of the like background color and then bigger dots in between then for this pink one i'm adding purple zigzag lines then a teal in the middle then some dots in the zigzags and three yellow dots in the middle of that line. I actually really like this one. For this purple, I'm adding huge yellow dots. For this yellow, I'm adding dots of all colors. For this one, it's actually really interesting because this peachy shade, I actually really didn't like it. I actually really don't like peach at all. No offense if you like it. But I pretty much decided to just cover the whole thing using this brush. It's really compact. I think it was like for like the crease eyeshadow. I never use it for that. Random fun fact about me is that I have a bunch of like brushes that I never use for eyeshadow because I have hooded eyes and I don't even try anymore. But I used to try in the past, that's why I have all these brushes, but I actually don't mind, I just find a better use for them, but I digress. So for this, I'm gonna be adding all my colors with that, and at the end with my finger, when the acrylic paint is starting to dry, giving this a final blend. And I liked it so much that I did this twice. For this pink one, I'm gonna be adding two teal stripes, three big yellow dots in the middle, then two smaller dots on the edges. This one is quite fun, I think, because it's a teal one, but I'm gonna be adding lines across it, of all the different colors with this light like one i did the kind of like the same thing that i did with the blended one but i didn't blend anything i just went with a bigger brush added bigger circles and then just overlap them then i'm going to be using this last one to just turn it into a little chic adding two black dots on top and this is a black acrylic custom that i made by the way i'm going to be sharing with you the diy of it next then i'm going to be adding some orange for the beak and then add two tiny white dots. I'm gonna be arranging the whole thing before I glue it, just so that I don't um, accidentally glue two of the same color next to each other. But once I arrange them, I'm gonna be gluing them using my super glue. For the top, I'm gonna to be cutting out the camera gap, marking on the back, then just cutting the excess. My phone is like a quite an old one. If you have a newer one, most likely your camera gap is gonna be bigger, just like the size of one of this, or maybe depending on your phone. It's uh, All phones are like different. And here I'm just painting the edge, just because of when I cut it, you can see the 
for my paper back there gluing them using my school peak the bottle says satin but it's not satin it's actually glossy maybe it was like a packaging error i don't really know applying this with my brush covering the whole things like those gaps the edges but yeah guys this is the idea that i want to share with you i love it i love how contrasting it is but in a, like a pastel -y way i like how fun this is hopefully it's not like too all over the place obviously i had different ideas on what i wanted and i just couldn't decide so i just went for all of them and sorry about my hands they are having like a weird reaction they look like reddish i just wanted to have this before easter and i didn't know how long this reaction would take so hopefully it's not like too distracting i really hope you liked this as much as i did don't forget to give this a thumbs up and share this thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later happy easter and take care bye